with the Nigerian government. For KTN News, I'm Dennis Aseto. For decades, sisal farming in Kenya has been practiced by big sisal farmers for the export market. However, due to rain failure over the last four seasons, farmers in Taita Taveta shifted to sisal farming to support their livelihoods. The hope is that they will sell the sisal to big companies such as Taita Sisal Estate in Mwatate. Hezron Kimari spoke to the farmers and this is their story. The harsh weather conditions experienced in the country has made a section of farmers in Taita Veta County venture into sisal farming. Many abandon their traditional crops for sisal, which does well in Taita Veta County. The villages affected include Manoa, Kajire, and Msau. Saitu kona msimu karibu nane hizo ni ni four years zenye atu akuja kitu akijavuno ato kiangali shamba ililimo lakini hakuna kitu ilivuno hapa mali. Tukamua sasa tuweke makonge, mana makonge inaitaji tumvu ya chache ya kiasi na inashika na unavuna na unapata pesa. Nikiangalia kama ni maindi sipati, pojo sipati, marage sipati, lakini kwa mambo haya uvunaji wa makonge, nikaona yanaweza kuniletea chakula mezani na pia makonge hainizui kupanda mahindi previously farmers here relied on growing maize beans and vegetables but they had to shift following rain failure for four seasons kwango kilikuwa kinaenda kikivunja moyo lakini tulikuwa tunapanda hata ika 12 saa ingine hata 14 hivi lakini ukiona jua limewaka wakati msimu mwingine unapunguza mana unaendelea kuvunjika moyo. Sasa ingine hata utajikuta umepata hata eka mbili. Several kilometers from here we arrived at Patrick Lonzo's 7 acres of sisal farm located below the Sagala Hills. Patrick has been growing sisal on this farm for 7 years and has managed to harvest four seasons now. So mimi nikaona makonge inakuwa alternative uh, kwangu mimi kwa sababu uh, nikishapanda makonge ikishamea wa unangojea tu kuja kuvuna kama sasa hii nime, nimepanda makonge uh, from uh, I mean, mwaka uh, wa 2000 uh, na 17 paka sahi anavuna makonge wakati watu wanalia njaa wakati tulikuwa na kiangazi mwaka uliopita na ule mwingine production inaenda chini lakini mkonge haufi kabisa tukipata mvua kidogo mkonge una shoot na unaanza kutoa majani mengine na production inaende, inaendelea. Kwa hivyo si, si kama mahindi si kama mahindi si kama mimea ingine. Taita Sasso Estate Mwatate and Taita Veta Wildlife Conservation Association TTWCA has assured the Sasso outgrowers a ready market and technical support. The reason why we started doing this project is because we wanted to support our basket weavers because we noticed that there's a problem uh, they are having difficulties when it comes to accessing sisal and so we thought that if we have this farm here then it will be easy for the women to access sisal and also purchase it at a cheaper price according to dr chemuku ekesa a researcher at kefri sisal can grow in areas with temperatures even above 50 degrees this has made farmers believe it is a solution to climate change na hata kama temperatures ziko juu kia kiwango cha eh, 40 to 50 degrees centigrade bado makonge inaweza stahimili hali kama hiyo na iendelee kuzaa kwa hivyo mimi naona makonge ndio mimi uh, ndio solution tena sasa ile umeendelea kuzeka unatoa kitu inaitwa mlingoti e mlingoti inasaidia kujenga nyumba kwa hivyo unauza makonge na baadaye tena unauza mlingoti The decision by these farmers to embrace crops that are resilient to harsh climate condition is an awakening call to other farmers from semi-arid areas to adopt the initiative. Hezron Kimari, KTN News, Matate, Taita Veta County. In business, we'll take a look at the most decorated livestock at